University graduate students are literally giving people a hand. They've developed a mechanical hand dubbed the bionic glove, and they used a 3D printer to make it. News Channel 5's Charlie Keegan says it started with a challenge and grew into much more. That's the short version of it. Perry Weinthal had one question when he first met Chad Corsi in grad school at FAU. Chad, would you like a new hand? A little and caught off guard. He looked at me for a couple of moments. He goes, okay. Chad was intrigued. He was born with an undeveloped left hand, but never used a prosthetic. I felt normal in my own skin. It was a challenge this biomedical engineering student couldn't pass up. They found the basic design for a robotic hand from an online idea-sharing community called Enabling the Future. These are tendons that act just like your tendons in your hand. The device fits over a person's wrist when they flex the finger's grip, providing about 70% of the functionality of a real hand and making Chad's life easier in several ways. This allows me to drive. It allows me to carry my smartphone when I'm walking around. Chad and Perry say the glove is a lot cheaper than a prosthetic because it's made using a 3D printer, like this one, at FAU's high school tech garage. Over the past eight months, they've launched their own foundation called the Bionic Glove Project, specifically to help children. It's so heartwarming. And, and, and when, when you build these, you know you're changing someone's life for the better. Their goal now? Keep growing and changing lives. In Boca Raton, Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5.